Corel Aftershot Lab is now integrated within PaintShop Pro 2023, providing advanced features and tools for optimizing images in the raw file format without needing to run separate applications. Aftershot Lab is non-destructive, so your original image files remain untouched. In this video, I'll present an overview of what you can do with Aftershot Lab. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial. I'm starting in the edit space of the PaintShop Pro Complete workspace, though Aftershot Lab can be launched from all workspaces. You can switch workspaces by clicking the home icon to open the welcome screen and choosing workspace. If you change your workspace, click apply, then return to the edit space. In any workspace, I can use file open to find one or more images in the raw file format, or drag one or more raw files from their folder directly into the workspace. I can also use the organizer which is available in the Complete and Essentials workspaces to open files. I'll browse to the folder where my raw files are stored and double-click a thumbnail to open the image or select one or more thumbnails and drag them into the workspace. The Complete and Essentials workspaces also have a Manage space. The contents of my raw images folder are displayed in the workspace and I can select one or more images, right-click on a selected image, and choose Edit Raw. With any of these file opening methods, I'm asked how I want to edit the file, and I'll choose Use Aftershot Lab and click Continue. This opens Corel Aftershot Lab in a separate window. The selected images are displayed in the tray below the preview area, and the preview area shows the image selected in the tray. Toolbar icons are below and to the left of the preview area for common tools such as Pan, Click White, which I'll show in a bit, Crop, Straightening, and Red Eye Removal. To the right of the toolbar are Zoom Controls, and above the preview are Rotate icons. To the right of the preview area is the Tools panel, which displays image metadata, as well as tabs for Standard and Detail tools. The Standard tab features basic adjustments and presets, with the most popular adjustments at the top. For a quick enhancement, Auto Level examines the tonal range of the image and sets the black and white points so that a fixed percentage of the image will be pure black and pure white. The two fields to the right are where I can set the clipping points for black and white as a percentage of the total image. Perfectly Clear is a simple way to optimize lighting of each pixel while maintaining true color with no clipping. This is used for removing abnormal tint, restoring faded photos, and can improve contrast and sharpening. The three settings here are Tint Max, which applies the full range of tint correction, Tint Min, which applies partial tint correction, and Tint Off, if I want color preserved throughout. There are also several options for white balance, which represent warmth characteristics of different light sources, such as fluorescent, cloudy, or flash. With Click White, I can use the eyedropper to select a pixel from an area I want to be neutral, which will adjust the rest of the pixels accordingly. I'll go back to As Shot. There are also several adjustment sliders, such as Temperature and Contrast. Double-clicking a slider resets it, and I can use the Reset All button at the bottom if I want to start over. Below the basic adjustments are several preset adjustments I can try out, such as bluer skies, or cross-processing. From here, I can also change some of the basic adjustments, such as adding perfectly clear and increasing saturation and vibrance. If I want to save the current settings to use for other images, I'll go back down to Presets and click Manage, add a folder which I'll rename My Presets, and click Add Preset. The basic settings I've applied are automatically selected, I'll name the preset and click OK. Now I can drag the preset into its folder and click Done. The Detail tab has controls for specific types of photo improvements. With Sharpening, I can adjust how soft or sharp the details are 
by adjusting the amount and sensitivity. Raw noise and noise removal are different methods of noise reduction, and lens correction has options to fix lens distortion. At the bottom of this tab are options to mirror and invert the image. Finally, the Metadata tab displays data about the image itself. The default metadata includes date shot, camera model, and settings, light source, etc. Switching to Basic IPTC opens social media-related editable fields for headline and caption, location, creator, and copyright details. Photographer and location fields can also be edited. When I'm finished in Aftershot Lab, I'll click Finish Editing. This brings me back to PaintShop Pro, where all my edited images are now in the Edit workspace. These are copies of the original images, and I can continue editing them in PaintShop Pro and save to any format I like. The original raw images have not been changed. The integration of Aftershot Lab into PaintShop Pro provides you with access to a wide array of sophisticated editing options for raw image files without needing extra applications. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on Aftershot Lab in PaintShop Pro. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below, which will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial.